Hi, it's Dave, also known as 540 Merlin. This is my first product review video. Well, my second, I suppose. Let me tell you about my experience with the Tremec TKO 600 five speed manual transmission. I've been daily driving big block muscle cars for over 20 years. About five years ago, I stepped up to Uber big blocks when I put my first 540 in my 1970 vet. Well, 500 horsepower, 600 foot-pound big blocks will run on a Muncie or a Super T10 or even a Richmond 6-speed, but 700 horsepower, 750 foot-pound engines won't. I was getting a few hundred to maybe a thousand miles out of a transmission. Rebuilt Muncie M20s were costing me about $3,000 a pop and were becoming hard to find. Super T10s were too weak. Richmond 6-speed is a magnificent transmission because of its six gears, but we're costing $6,000 a pop new and actually only rated in 1st to 5th at 400 foot-pounds. And 6th was for cruising only, not intended for land speed record attempts. The Tremec was about $4,000. I bought the Keesler Perfect Fit Kit, complete with all the conversion bits. It bolted in as it was supposed to. Good start. It's just over five years later now, and I'm still running that same untouched Tremec. It has 20,000 miles on it. I drive the crap out of my cars every time I drive them. I've rebuilt the VET 540 at least three times since installing the Tremec. I've replaced clutches, axles, the frame, the rear end, and more, but not the Tremec. In fact, it's never made a sound it wasn't supposed to. Never popped out of gear, never ground during a shift. The 2-3 shift at over 6,000 RPM can be tricky. I have to pay attention or I get stuck in neutral between first and third. Apparently, early Tremex like I have sometimes did this. Not a big deal if you're paying attention like in a drag strip but sometimes annoying when hanging it out at a autocross where the next gate has my attention instead of the shifter. However, it's safe to say I love my Tremec. Then I bought my 930 horsepower, 950 foot-pound, 540 power, 69 Camaro. The first thing I did was blow up the Super T10 the car came with. So in goes the Tremec TKO 600. Three and a half years later at about 15,000 miles, I did manage to grenade third during a full throttle, 70 mile an hour rolling burnout. That may sound bad, but a Muncie M20, a Super T10, or a Richmond 6 speed would have lasted less than one day, maybe 50 miles. So it's actually truly amazing. Uh, I replaced it with another Tremec TKO 600 without a second of thought. Did I mention that I love my Tremec? Okay, let's talk tech. There are two Tremecs. A TKO 600, rated at 600 foot-pounds, continuous torque, 800 peak. And a TKO 500, presumably rated at 500 foot-pounds, continuous. I've never owned a 500. The 600 comes with a very low first gear of 2.87 to 1. Most manuals I've driven are 2.52 to 2.20 in first. 287's nice at the drag strip, or if you have little low end torque. I would prefer a taller, more conventional first gear in both of my cars, but each to his own. Overdrive in the 600, you have a choice of either 0.64 or 0.82 to 1. I own one of each. The .64 in my Camaro is with 355 rear gears. And the .82 in my VET has 308 rear gears. The Camaro at 3000 RPM runs 105 miles per hour. Insane top end and a huge step from 4th to 5th, which is particularly annoying at 60-70 miles per hour. The VET at 3000 RPM runs 78 miles an hour. Not enough top end. I feel like it needs one more gear. Tremec should sell them all with an overdrive halfway in between at 
0.73 to 1. When I blew up third gear in my Camaro, I took the Tremec out of my vet, which is temporarily off the road due to a blown up engine, don't ask, and I put the 0.82 to 1 overdrive in my Camaro. That's an improvement over the 0.64 because on radial TAs in a 69 Camaro, I just don't need to see the other side of 200 miles an hour. Shifting. The newer Tremec that was in the Camaro until I broke third gear has never missed a shift. The shifts are faster, smoother, and surer than any other manual I have ever driven. The shifts are short and positive. The gears are quiet, never a sound. It's a truly wonderful transmission. Bottom line, the Tremec TKO 600 is not perfect. They have had some troubles with the 2-3 shift in the past. And if you try hard enough, you can break one. But it is, by a factor of at least 10, the best manual transmission I have ever owned. Would you look at the time? Why did you bring 540 Merlin? Where did you get that 540 Merlin shirt? Hey, 540 Merlin, this stuff is awesome! 540 Merlin stuff. Wear it at your own risk. Ah!